So here we have a resin 3D printed Thomas and we are going to take a look at all the details. See how it came out. This is not even, I, I always uh, 3D print uh, for um, Trackmaster sizes. But I want to check, so here is compared with Trackmaster, the size of Trackmaster. I want to check how small we can 3D print uh, the Thomas, the tank engine. Uh, with um, the recent 3D printer, um, so it's my it is my first time 3D printing in a resin. So we're gonna learn um, over the next few days if uh, we need to adjust anything. But as you can see right now, there are a lot of details on this uh, miniature Thomas, very small. So here's again um, the Trackmaster size. This one measures uh, the long, the length of this Thomas is 49.98. It's actually five, um, yes, 50 millimeters long. So I'm gonna bring, so there is a piece, a speck of rice right here. So I just wanna show you something. So the next smaller size is uh, this other Thomas compared to this one. So um, it's just a simple test. So this one has been reduced or shrink to 40 millimeters uh, long. That is 40 millimeters long, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. We still can see uh, some details. Look at the windows, cab windows, wheels, uh, the spoke wheels, everything is in here. Yeah, I'm missing some uh, supports that I did forgot to, I couldn't reach, couldn't reach to remove those supports. Okay, I'm gonna try to, you can see, barely see some supports. Okay, they're gone now. Yes, excellent. There's one more here. Tiny, tiny supports, but this is small. So the next size, it was shrunk to, um, 30 millimeters long. There is 30 millimeters and millimeters long. Thomas the tank engine. Just so this is smaller than those three. Compare side by side. Here it is. We still can see a lot of details. Yep, perfect. Perfect in every way. Face, face looking good, yes. The face is looking good. Every single speck or detail on this model shows, still shows on that size. So next, we're gonna shrink a little bit more. Remember that movie where it says, honey, I shrunk the kids or shrink, shrink or shrunk the kids. This one is 20 millimeters long. Can't even find the size. Okay, right there. It's 1999. Uh, it's 20 millimeters long. This is a, uh, Micro Thomas, the tank engine. Compared to the uh, a rice, a piece of uh, grain of rice. So there it is, Thomas. This is a real grain of rice grain. And still can see some or a lot of details on Thomas. So it is really cool. Okay, there we have some supports that haven't I can't reach with this. I need a special tool to remove that uh, support inside Thomas. Look at the back, the bunk, uh, call bunker. Still shows details and the wheels. Wow, amazing. Really cool uh, 3D printed, resin 3D printed Thomas. Right here we can see the supports where I put the supports. Now there's uh, something like I said at the beginning of the video. And there's a learning curve uh, how to orient the tree, resin 3D print. Uh, I resin 3D printed this model like so, like this, standing. And I think the orientation should be uh, in an angle like so. But that will be, like I said, this is my first resin 3D printed Thomas project. And we are going to learn on the way. Now this is the last uh, resin 3D printed Thomas side by side with the uh, rice grain right there. 
Can you see it? Tiny Thomas? I don't know if the camera is going to pick up the... Uh, oh, very small. I need a magnifier. Yes, there it is, guys. Tiny, tiny, tiny Thomas. So, side by side with um, rice grain right there. Yeah, it's very small. But I need something to... I don't know how to showcase, but I need a magnifier. Let's see. Okay, we still see um, the details on the uh, qual bunker. Yep, right there. You see it right here. Face. There is the face. Oh man, it's too tiny. I'll try to zoom in. Now, the problem with this, I broke. Remember, it's the first time I'm doing the resin 3D printing uh, device. The new resin 3D printer. Um, I re also 3D printed the model standing like so. Actually, it's uh, upside down, but uh, the uh, supports. Let me see if I can showcase right here. So the supports are in this direction. And at the time I removed the supports, I also removed part of the uh, spoke wheels. But you still can see the spoke wheels. Um, details in there. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but I can see the boiler, boiler lines. <laughs> oh man, the boiler lining. It's this boiler lining li right here. It's uh, they are barely visible, but you need a magnifier. Yeah, I can still can see it, or I believe it, I can see it. I remember I, when I was doing some test, uh, you know, ear test uh, on a job site. They put you some um, headphones and do some tests. And one of my co-workers, uh, they say, I was pushing the button even when I was not hearing anything. <laughs> that was funny anyways. Uh, that was years ago. But anyways, so here we have all the f five sizes of uh, this miniature Thomas the Tank engine. Wow, incredible, unbelievable. So this concludes the review of... Um, small 3d printed thomas and yep that one is this almost almost the size of a, a rice grain right there let me know you talk so we are going to start 3d printing some other uh, prototypes of projects <laughs>